When a Python program reads data from an external source and then constructs SQL statements to store that data or use it in some other way, it may be vulnerable to a SQL injection attack. The security vulnerability is easy to prevent, but everyone who's writing a program that involves Python constructing SQL statements should know this attack exists and how to prevent it. This kind of exploit is so popular that there's even an XKCD comic about it. Hi, this is your son's school. We're having some computer troubles. Oh dear, did he break something? In a way, did you really name your son Robert apostrophe close parenthesis semicolon drop table student semicolon dash dash question mark? Oh yes, little Bobby Tables we call him. Well, we've lost this year's student records. I hope you're happy and I hope you've learned to sanitize your database inputs. Let's try to understand what's going on in this comic. If in a Python program you have a string with this name and then you attempt to construct a SQL statement that looks like I insert this name into the table of students. Well, this looks innocuous. You just take some name and you put it inside of this command. But in fact, this particular name is going to cause problems because the command you've constructed is insert into students values Robert and then drop the table students and then dash dash is a way of starting a comment in SQL. So this part won't do anything, but it also won't cause a SQL error. So this will all execute just fine and uh, Robert will be inserted into the students table, but then all the students will be gone. In Python, execute, which we saw before, only takes one statement at a time, but there is an execute script method that takes a string with as many statements as you'd like and executes them all. So this code would run and it would in fact drop the table of students. And that's bad. The problem here is that a string concatenation was used in order to construct the SQL statement. Instead, the correct approach that prevents SQL injection attacks is to call db.execute using a template and then fill in the values that are missing in that template, the question marks, with Python values in this way. This will execute a statement that's different from the three statements down here. Instead, it will execute just one statement that in fact inserts the long string Robert apostrophe close paren semicolon drop table students whatever into the students table. So little Bobby tables will retain his true name and the students table will not be dropped. Now what's the difference between this statement and this sequence of three statements? Well, the only difference is an extra apostrophe. That's how you insert an apostrophe into a string in SQL. But you don't need to remember that. All you need to remember is that if you're inserting a string into a larger SQL statement, you should do it using the execute statements built in option of passing in values. Then they'll be escaped correctly and you won't have to worry about SQL injection attacks.